It's tonight in the workers' comp fight that Team 10 first told you about in January. An injured woman claimed the system is broken and cases are settled for pennies on the dollar. Tonight, Team 10 investigator Allison Ash joins us with the remarkable move made by the insurance company. Allison. Well, the initial settlement offer was $2,000. Then Team 10 got involved and Connie Campbell said it went up to $10,000. Now she claims the attorney for CompWest Insurance offered her $60,000 after the company replaced its original attorney. It infuriates me. Connie Campbell is infuriated that her workers comp case has been dragging on for nearly six years. Last month she got her first whiff of victory when this man, attorney Avery Chazen, was removed as the attorney for CompWest Insurance. His job was to defend the insurance company and Campbell's claim that she was injured on the job. My left shoulder is bothering me because I've overcompensated using it because of my right shoulder having an anterior and posterior rotator cuff tear because of the injury. I'm in a good place. Campbell came to Team 10 asking questions about a conflict of interest after she learned the court reporter working on her case, Sherry Dietz, is married to Bill Dietz, a partner in Chazen's firm. Documents obtained by Team 10 showed Dietz swore she was a disinterested person, no way interested in the outcome of Campbell's case. But Campbell claims her words were changed. They were misconstrued, there were things left out. Campbell also claimed the insurance company was withholding testimony in her case, testimony that was never put on the court record. Campbell had a hearing here at workers' comp court just days after our first story aired. Acting as her own attorney, she was able to convince the judge to take a second look at the case transcript. He agreed, and days later, she got this letter. It says Avery Chazen is off the case. Then another victory for Campbell. This letter sent from Chazen to the judge. In it, the attorney writes, as I was reviewing the file contents and getting the file ready for transfer to new counsel, I realized that other witness interviews and summaries do exist. And magically they appeared in the file when he had to get the file ready for a new attorney. If we had had this information five years ago, my case would have been settled by then. Campbell is now asking the judge to issue sanctions against Chazen, who sent a statement to Team 10 that reads in part, our firm acted in accordance with the law, and we are confident that this frivolous request for sanctions will be summarily denied. He also writes, the witness statements include support that she did not have a work injury. Team 10 obtained those documents, among them the statements of two of Campbell's co-workers, who say she often complained about the height of the treatment table at work. We also read the transcript of an interview with the office manager who says he believes Campbell's claim is a scam. Chazen told Team 10 he was never ordered to produce witness statements, which is a little bit different from what he wrote in his letter to the judge, which was that he found transcripts of the witness interviews that he did not conduct or know about in that case file. The judge will decide how important those documents are at tomorrow's hearing. We'll let you know what happens. I'm Team 10 investigator Allison Ash.